Welcome to an RPG Architect tutorial. This video is going to be a follow up from my first tutorial I did for this. Now this is an early access engine so a lot of things change and a couple things did change that I need to clarify or else the first video is not going to make any sense to some users. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so first the announcement and that is that RPG Architect is going to be available for Linux and Apple. Right here it has OS, OS X and Linux support. Now it's in the early phases. I'm not sure if everything exactly works. I know there were some problems with some shaders. But this is good news going forward that this engine will support multiple platforms, which is something that some engines are lacking lately. The next update that happened was if you click on your maps, you can now see that there is support for more width in your tile sheet. I don't think there is any limit anymore to your tile sheet. So in the first video where I said you only had a limit of 10, now you have unlimited capabilities with your tile sets. All right, so the last thing to go over is how to display the character now. And if you follow the first video, you'll have noticed how you can play test and see your character. But now if you open this project up in the new update, you won't see your character anymore. So there's a couple things that we have to set up differently now. So I'm going to hit F8, bring up my database, and we're going to see the hero right here. And nothing's really changed here, but you have to go down to the new game now, and you'll see party, click on party, and then you'll click add, and you're going to add that hero. Now we're going to hit OK and play test and you will see the character. However, the character is now moving slow, even though we set the speed on the last video. So to change that, we have to go back to the database, F8. We have to go to the hero, and we can see that there are some ranks according to this. And you can see that the starting rank is zero, but the maximum rank is negative one. Well, this doesn't really work if the maximum rank is negative one, so I'm going to adjust this to just say 10, just a quick number there. And now that rank zero actually can apply these stats. We have to go down here to new game and just verify that our starting rank is zero, which it was negative one. So now when we put zero right here, it should stick. We can hit okay, play test. And now the character is moving pretty quick. All right, so hopefully this video helped you get caught up on these updates. Any questions, comments below, see forms, we'll get you figured out. That said, I'll see you at the next video.